Hello, welcome to, you know, Twitch, welcome to videos, games, such. Dying Light 2, um, giving back zombies, murdering people, blood, guts, world's gone to hell. It, start, uh, that, it kind of starts with a video, uh, the game starts with a video. And it basically kind of tries to explain the ending to Dying Light 1 and the beginning to Dying Light 2. So it basically says that they were able to find a vaccine for the first virus. They finally beat it, but then people always want more. And that resulted in them keep experimenting with the original virus. Unfortunately, that then led to a different strain, almost like COVID, which escaped the lab and then the collapse of the world just overnight, basically. Um, then you get people that like, because all the cities and that are separate. Obviously, there's no internet, there's no mobile phones, there's, there's none of that. So it kind of starts by saying that certain of the people brave enough or desperate enough you know, to, to go out will basically go between these cities as a messenger uh, into the wasteland, as they call it. I'm guessing we're going to end up being one of these pilgrims, as they call them. But I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. What I do know is I want to murder some zombies. So we're going to go. Uh, oh, we can go on easy. Oh. Resources are nice and easily available. But we're going to go for normal. We're kind of for the games, obviously, street geared towards normal, so that's where we're going to be. Oh, oh no, it's just a loading screen. I thought we were going to end up with another video. I thought we were going to get a lucky then, but we did not. Heads up as well, by the way, I'm running this on a standard 2.5 inch SSD, so it's not as fast. Fortunately, loading times may be a bit longer. Oh, 15 years after the fall. I'm assuming the fall relates to the fall of humanity. You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> you used to be younger. I'm dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. I kind of want to see... Oh, no, they're all... They're all... Oh, they're over there. So they were angry a second ago, and now they just don't get. Okay. Uh, oh, I've got to go this way. Can we search cars like that? I mean, I'd like to point out there's no steering wheel in this car. This is probably why it's been left. Someone nicked the steering wheel. Same thing, nicked the steering wheel. That steering wheel's gone. Steering wheel's gone. I'm seeing a pattern, I'm not going to lie. So, unless there is a trick with steering wheels that I, I'm not aware of, I mean, I haven't discovered anything in my car that, that, that's different, um, there must be, yeah. Okay, so the jumping mechanics are pretty much like every other game ever made, that's nice. Go. Oh. Um, Shit, man! Oh, You're still strong. Yeah, I'm still strong. Oh. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. 
It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. Oh, you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Right. What we're going to do, collect honey and chamomile. Uh, hold, use our to hold just five percent. That's obviously the honey. This looks a lot like something I'm supposed to pick up. Yeah. Okay, so that, now it turns out that in all honesty we're paying far cry. Okay, oh, is that more honey? I'm gonna get stung that time. No, bees just don't care if you steal the honey. They are not bothered at all. That's nice to know. If you're testing my patience, friend, you're doing really well. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, I'm not seeing any of this ca chamomile. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's fucking honey. So as it turns out, the world is abundant with honey, not so much this chamomile stuff. Let me so it is. I like the fact there's no cooldown here on the uh the the the, 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 the survivor sense thing, that's kinda of nice. Over there. Oh, it's just telling me it's in this area. Oh, it's up there. Of course, it's up there. Yeah, this will do. I'm gonna get loads because I'm guessing this is something we're gonna need a lot of if we're being taught how to get it straight away in the beginning of the game. Probably for something like a healing a healing balm or something. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her yeah. village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Okay. Craft healing medicine. Uh, new blueprint. Press that one to go to the crafting menu. Uh, okay. This is where you store all your craft parts you collected. Hover over the medicine blueprint and hold A to craft it. Craft max, screw it. Um, oh, I see, it takes two chamomile, one honey. Right, okie dokie. Come on, we're almost there. I'm coming, brother. I've been waiting for you. You're going to go looking for fucking honey. Flowers. Oh, the graphics in this game are incredibly good. It's really, really well detailed. This is it. Come on. Do I, do I need to close this? This feels like something we should probably close. Bye. Right. Maybe close the gate? I feel this is going to become a big part of the story. I feel like not closing the gate is either going to get you killed or get someone else killed or just let the hold of it. No, okay. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take it, anything we could use. It's, it's yeah, just, sure. It's just glass. We could, we could probably get in there. Nice open shutter. This is something. Who the hell actually has a fire extinguisher box in the garage? I've never ever seen one of those. Never. And who parks the car like this? 
Nobody parks a car like this. Even if you're in a rush, there is no way you could just come in here, driving nice and forward like this, and then go like this, brum, brum, brum. Back it up a little bit, pull it forward a little bit. You'd have to spend 10 minutes just parking the damn thing. And where's half the rim gone? It's just, what? More to the point, if this place has been closed and sealed like this, like for starters, there shouldn't be all this crap around here. I'm not even gonna, I'm just not, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. The, the one door I can't get through, it's got no door handle. That instantly means you can never get through there. Oh, oh, I think I just said I can't push that. Yeah, nothing in here. Rags, I'll take some rags. Rags are good. Wash those cars out back with it. Garage. Okay, it's telling me I can do something with this, but I, I can't just get the pot. Oh, there we are. You have to be sitting in a certain spot to do it. Okay. Nothing here. Uh, soap! Soap being uncommon these days. Five years later, who remembers Haran? Can we read that? Oh no, it's gone. Uh, can we? Journal, no. Entry, no. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like we can just read stuff like that. Okay. Collectibles, maybe? Ah, oh, there it is. So, five years have passed since the city of Haram was isolated from the rest of the world. Residents who thought they'd found refuge from the virus now found themselves in a death trap, fending for themselves and denied aid from the outside. Why did the world turn its back on Haram? Can all its thriving city and its thousands of residents simply be erased from history? I think we've answered that question quite amply. I think the answer is yes. Anything else here to investigate? Oh, the last spring for the last spring party. Party? Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Yes, it did. Oh, oh there's a bag there. Why did I not search that bag? Oops. Cigarettes. Oh, yes. Empty. Surprises there, Aiden. You should have expected that. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying, if you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Damn. There is no more glass there, is there? Jesus. Put some resin. I'll pick up some, uh, some resin. That's nice. Laptop that's dirtier than in the seems like S O R. S O R inside. Uh, this way. Ooh, this don't look good. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Probably a damn sight better than it looks now. That does look gross. Well, that just survival sense. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Damn, for a nice house, these people sure had some garbage. Nada. Zip. Hide area? Oh, I can hide here from zombies, etc. Okay. Doesn't feel like I'm hiding, but you know what? I'm not going to question the, uh, the, the, the the logic there. Some rags. Nine more rags. Oh, nice. Bandages out of those for a guess. Got scraps. Okay. I think everyone has lying around in the house is scrap. 
picture I've got to look at. And that's what they called art? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Rags. More rags. Cans and rags. Give me a nice pistol. Give me some rag right there, man. As in, I like, I like resin. Oops, a bit green over here. Some more cigarettes. But you've got to do a lot of this, uh, a lot of this searchy, searchy, lucky, lucky thing, haven't you? A boost over here. I'm in. I get the door. Ooh, that's a skeleton right there. That's uh, quite a few skeletons, actually. Um, another skeleton. Just got shoes on. Oh man, I bet the smell must be nasty. Sorry, Dave. Goodbye. That's heartbreaking. It's not. It's, it's three words. And a guy There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. My God, how long's her neck? Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Wait. Okay. No, I want upstairs. Upstairs sounds like it's got more in it than a fucking garden. I'm guessing these pills. Nope. But seriously. How long is her fucking neck? Look at that. No wonder she died. Don't give her fucking head up. Uh, wait, where's his legs gone? That's my question. Where is the bottom of this guy's legs? I'm, I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't split up. I'm really thinking this is potentially something that, that we shouldn't do. These guys die, that's what I want to know. See, his legs are gone as well. Guys, you realise you're missing parts of your bodies, right? Like you, you're missing legs. You're missing legs. I'm beginning to think maybe this isn't normal. Uh, you're missing parts of your legs. I'm going to stop looking for missing legs, because it's, it's worrying me. There's quite a fair bit. At least they had each other. Plus, how long have these guys been dead? Because I'm not quite sure they would have decomposed as quickly. Not that I know that. Uh, select. Uh, yeah, the game hasn't actually told me how I use. Oh, it's there. That's a bandage. Okay. Oh, yeah, I feel better. So we really are playing Far Cry, because it's the same thing. You wrap the bandage around. If I get a splint in my arm, do I have to pull out, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, what are they called? Come on. A splinter that's like, you know, three foot long. Is that how this is going to work? I mean, I just didn't remember Far Cry had that issue. You've got a splint and you pulled out a huge... Let's party. Why did they write it inside the board? They've literally written on the inside of the A board. That seems like a complete waste of time. I'd seriously like to know how these guys all die. Did they just drink some bad wine or something? Is that what happened? Welcome to the last party, and yes, of course, they've written it on the inside of the board as well. End of the world party, yeah, they've written it on the inside of the board as well, just to make sure in case, you know, it got rubbed away. Look at the picture, what I need to do. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. 
That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Aiden, come here. Check this out. Okay. I mean, please don't shout like that. You might attract the undead. I mean, borrow. In all fairness, these people had quite a nice little crib, didn't they? As, uh, as Aiden calls it, you know. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. What guy, yes. Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Why didn't you say so earlier? Yeah. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Yeah. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe... Well... A little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world. Let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you. I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe.
Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. Damn, he vanished quickly. Well, I got a groovy bat. Rear one hour stick. The fuck is me bat only have a time limit? Yeah. Oh, I do definitely have a bat. See, this seems like a perfect safe house. Huge walls, cliffs on one side. This would be fun to just live here, dude. Stop wandering. Stop filming. So I'm going to open the gate. Close it. No, no. Dude, dude, look. close the gate. Close the gate. No, okay. Do I do it, or do I do the smart thing? I did not like the sound of that. Uh, I also don't know how the man's supposed to work. Oh, that's defense. Uh. Ah! Oh yeah, get myself a nice little bit of cleaned up there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh water, I wonder. I mean, you can actually swim on the water, so there's got to be something somewhere, right? Don't make that mechanic if there's nothing there. There's no waste of time. Ah, biters. What's this? Tell me I'll take some of that. Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, Cigarettes. Like that. We can search too. Scraps. Yeah, get to search corpses. This is what it's all about. Don't anybody in here want to eat me? Oops, some resin, I'll take that. Cans, they're apparently useful for something. More cans, some more rags, I'm never going to run out of rags. Damn, I don't like the amount of noises that this game makes though. Ooh, a book. I'm going to read a book. Okay, and for some reason we cannot explore the rest of the place just because it says that there's no door handles. Oh, and it's turning a red sky at night. That's, that's a bad sign, isn't it? I remember night in this game is like really too bad. Oh. oh yeah, he's sat down. Uh, where'd you go? Over here somewhere. No, he's gone. Uh, okay. I'll fuck it up there. I have to get this over. Climb up, maybe? Oh, I can't actually get up there. So, up here maybe? Up here? I guess there's gonna be zombies or something along the top. No. Um, up there. Oh, I have to go in here? This seems really dangerous. Or is this just the way to get up here? Oh, I think this was just the way to get up here. I can't search the police car like that now. Oh, I remember. 
bridges, yes, bridges are bad. Bridges are bad. Uh, okay, can we get up? Oh, so it looks like we actually have to go through the bridge, it's kind of the way the game is designed, that's annoying. The other side of the bridge has been particularly dangerous in these games. Stamina back. Yep, yeah, and then we're going to swing a couple of more times. Come to us, might as well search a few things. Actually, there's a trap in it. I think at this point I'm probably better just getting out of here in all honesty. Like it's going to take me so much longer to actually kill everything than I want to spend running around in the middle of a thingy. Yeah, I think that just woke everything up. That's nice. I don't want to be out here when it falls to dark. I'm really hoping the zombies can't climb. Oh. So stamina has definitely going to end up being a problem, I think. Um, is this some sort of fucking free run review tutorial? I mean, what the hell is this thing? What have we got? Uh, tap bar be one moving forward to jump over obstacles. Yeah. I'd also like to ask why the hell are the handles banging into the rock wall, but okay. National Park game. Eh? Uh, this way, I'm guessing. That appears to be a run or a walk. I don't know, that's kind of... Uh, zip rope for getting down. Is that what I'm going on now? Because that doesn't feel... Oh, maybe it is. Please do not disturb the local wildlife. I won't stop them if they don't try and eat me, how's that? Oh, caves, there are caves. That's really hard to do. Left button and right trigger. That seems like a really stupid way of doing it. Oh, and of course, it's becoming night time as well. This ain't what we want. This ain't what we want. Our first day in the world. Parkour level up. Open skills. You've leveled your parkour proficiency and earned your first parkour skill point. You can now use it to unlock your first parkour skill. Oh, yay! 
Uh, high jump allows you to reach higher ledges when you hold right button while jumping. Uh, hover over the skill icon to read the description and check its requirements. Follow me. Now hold A to purchase the skill. Oh, and it just happens to be in this exact area that I need this 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 skill. Almost there. Oh, that, there's blood all over there. That does not go well. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. I won't get any better than this. Broadcast station should be here somewhere. I have a horrible feeling I'm about to get ambushed by a lot of zombies. Oh yeah, this does not look good, does it? Let's let's be honest here. Really don't look good at all. Someone moved them not long ago. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. Somebody obviously moved this from the outside, but the footprints clearly showed it going in. Oh, hell, I do not like this. Oh, my mate, when's a pistol or a shotgun when you need one? I gotta go outside. I don't just need to be inside and turn the power on from the inside. That's what I meant. Oh, the generator. Where's the generator? Oh, what in the f... Ah, I've got to go outside, haven't I? I just want to piss off the local, uh, local zombies. What oh, the hell is that? Power attacks do massive damage and can knock you down. When an enemy is about to use a power attack, his health bar starts blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit. Form a dodge, press right button while moving back or to a side. God damn it, now I've got mechanics to think about as well. So, to get this straight, whatever this thing is, which, by the way, appears almost witch-like in its uh, in its entirety. But <coughs> excuse me, I just have to ask: at which point did we start mixing zombies, the brainless, you know, brain dead, dead walkers who just chomp on a bit of meat, um, with almost prototype the game? By the way, if you ever played prototype, fantastic game. 
uh, but almost prototype evolutionary kind of like changes. So here we can clearly see that this this thing has like clawed hands, glowing arms, glowing eyes. You know the stuff that you saw. Well, you didn't even see that in in in, in, in prototype. But nothing glowed. It was just you know well, give it slow. But it was just what it was, what it was, wasn't it? But now all of a sudden in Dynamite 2, suddenly they evolve, and this woman's got claws with, you know, giant talons for hands. I don't quite think that's something that would happen in a real zombie apocalypse. But then again, mm, oh, pardon me. How the fuck would I know? I haven't been in the zombie apocalypse yet. And I'll say yeah, because I'm well aware of how fantastically this government is fucking shit up. Right. Oh, I'm ready to Right. My stamina is depleted. Oh, and this thing just likes to run away. Wait. That thing went in the building. Oh, and of course, there's more. There she is. Oh, God. Aren't you just, just okay? <laughs> I dodged that fucker. Research. Use the Craftmaster to upgrade your blueprints. Okay. And of course they've got nothing on them. I don't know why I ever expect them to actually have anything decent. And that's going to open without problem and we're all going to be okay. Of course, of course, of course. Just leave the door wide open as well. I mean, it's not like I want to shut it. point out if we just shut that that, that that all the way down wait till the morning and then oh, thank you and then turn the generator on we'd be a lot less likely to have what I feel is going to happen happen to us so we're gonna to have to come in here go through everywhere aren't we No fuel, perhaps? This ain't gonna attract anything, is it? Shut the door, maybe? No? Okay. The horrible feeling we're going to be, uh, you know, just hammered by zombies. Close it. Yeah, that's that's better. Can't search anything. Blueprints there. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see how many zombies are hiding around here. Oh, what's this saying? 
Safe zones. You've unlocked the first safe zone, increasing your network of respawn points. Hmm. Okay. All safe zones are equipped with UV light, which guarantees safety at night. I kind of thought, why would we just put UV lights everywhere then? I'd get rid of all the zombies, surely. Uh, additionally, each safe zone offers access to a resting place where you can change the day night phase and Aiden's stash where you can leave your excess items. But virtually the same as before. Okay, player stash. Okay. That's like almost broken. Um, 17 damage to 18 damage. So, yeah. Miscellaneous. This is all the crap I picked up. Okie dokie. Uh, extras. I don't know what extras are. These are pre order bonuses. Yes, they are. Okay. So, redeem that. Yes. Um. Oh, it actually has a timer on them. Really? Uh. XP. I'm saving that. Uh, Ultimate Crass Park Bundle. Yes, we'll take that. Um, I've actually done this, I've just got to wait for it to come through. Uh, large pile of scrap, I'll take that. What's this? Uh, trinket, the music was my look at your weapon, I'll take an trinket. Best mom and a mini UV bar. What have we got? Uh, legendary outfit, yes we'll put that on. Be the beam of light in the darkness. Outfit is a visual only item that lets you change the look of your character but keeps all the currently used gear stats in. Okay. Um, unique paraglider skin created for the dying light fans who believe in the digital world. Deluxe digital pack. Okay, I don't know if that actually gives me the ability to watch it. Oh, we do get a grappling hook. Oh, fantastic. I love the grappling hook. The, just the mechanics of it is fucking fantastic. Um, I'm assuming now we go to inventory. Um, what if I... Get to repair it, perhaps? I, I don't know. Uh, select that. Um, need to drop that because it's going to break. Uh, I'll put it into slot one. And I can't modify it because it's only a white weapon. Okay, so you can modify blues, etc., but you can't modify whites. Okay. Um, And I guess we'll just go to bed. So that's it. That's the end of the first day. So, wait until morning. And this is where I realise I've died in my sleep. What the fuck? Aiden, Papa, Aiden. Are we running or what? But, like, now? No, when we're <laughs> old. No, Aiden. We need supplies. <laughs> Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. It'll be all right. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. Easy. 
sees us. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. The military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the Metro Tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. Right, so we're actually looking for our sister. Okay, so I'm guessing that the reason that Aiden's able to survive quite a lot, and um, actually take more than just one hit, like a lot of them, citizens, I guess. Seem to be able to is because they were doing experiments with this virus on them when they were younger, so it's probably more resilient to it, I guess. But all right, then. I do enjoy a good zip wire, of course. What the hell am I holding on there? I'm just pulling on my bare hands. Yes, okay. Seems like that would have been a lot more painful, but alright then. I'm guessing we're supposed to just check in here, even though, you know, I mean, you're not going to pass this and not look in there, right? God is dead. Okay, well, let's hope everybody in here is, in here is dead as well. Item. Paradise Lost Book 4. Artifact Collectible. Alright then. Oh, it's in there, is that? Like a really big pack, because I mean, there's huge chunks of it that we just can't actually get in, like this. Alright then, no, never mind. Alright, I'm just going to walk over the pews. 
Good things around here. X marks the spot. Oh yes! Fantastic. Get that perfect plan. Brilliant. Guess I'm supposed to jump off of here into there. Yeah, of course I am. No. I can't actually search it. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Bellador, <sighs> enjoy your stay. And now you're all dead. <clears throat> I like games like this. Oh my god, the shadow. So, that's some nice reflecting one. Um, uh, hang on. Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. I mean, you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. Oh, I'm coming from the other side. Hello. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry! Sorry about that, I hope you don't mind too much. I mean, you know, it's either me or you. Uh, a lot of blood in your head, by the way. Um, I'm gonna get that bulb patch looked at, possibly try some sort of different conditioner. Thank you. You gonna come for me? Yeah, of course you are. Gonna go. That's right, I'm motherfucking Anakin Skywalker. Oh. You little bitch. Off with his head. Go ahead, in this case. Gotta get a bit more stamina back. Nice. 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 I'm my weapon to the hilly broken. What the hell happened there? <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Give me all your stuff. Uh, like, green stuff. Oh. <laughs> Off with your head. Like, uh, yeah. That's a pretty powerful, my, uh, my terrible axe. Away. I've played that game before, it wasn't very fun. Normally not played it by choice, but there you go. Oh, for God's sake, they're everywhere. Why can't I just have a gun? I like a gun and handle this so much better. Every time I get near to them, they, they just hit me anyway. Oh, and of course, my uh, my weapon's out. Okay. No. No, that one. Any more guns? No, I've got no other weapons at all. Okay. Jokey, this is not entirely the way I wanted to go, I'm gonna be honest with you here. Yeah. Um okay, bye. Oh, thank god I thought you were growing green or something. Go away. Pop and pop. Right. Uh okay, so looks like we can actually get in. Anything in here I wonder? Oh, some honey we can get. Nice. Oh, honey we can get. Nice. Obviously, bees don't sting anymore. Um, they've realised the virus has happened and they've decided to stop stinging people when they steal the honey just because, you know, they thought they were being pretty decent guys. It's a weapon. Oh, hello. Hi. Please tell me it is down here, I've got to go and not up there. Yeah, of course it's up there. There's, there's literally no weapons around, there's nothing to get. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh no, I've got to go down again. Sorry to uh, piss you all off like that. Oh.
really absolutely no weapons at all. Nothing. A weapon, a bar, a stick. I'm fairly confident I can use a stick at this point. No. Okay, okay. Uh, how do I get in here then? Through the really badly broken window. How the hell do I get into this tunnel? I'm guessing do I have to climb up this thing. I sliced myself up pretty good there. Oh, I, I'm an idiot. Onto the rope, which I can't grab because I'm out of stamina. How the fuck are you supposed to do that then? Right. Okay, climbing this is definitely using stamina. Jumping uses a lot of stamina. I'm about to run out of stamina before I get across. Okay. Okay. Let's just uh, heal up a little bit here. Better. Oh, there's actually a. Right, okay. Really bad quarantine here, by the way. I feel like that's quite a big, uh, that's that's quite a substantial like issue, you now like weak spot. I feel. I'm entering the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Anything? A weapon. Oh, I don't like this much blood. I don't like this much blood. I feel this is a trap. I feel maybe this is hurts. Doesn't look good. No, no, it, it, it doesn't, Aiden. I think we're going to die here. I think this is where we actually get just, just, just boned. Oh, video cuts you. Oh this my is god. Good. Yeah, down there, Aiden. Something's going to come for you. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Are you alright? Fuck your bid me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. You must get into the light quickly. Where's Mia? Oh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Oh god, I'm dead. Well, that's it. I've been murdered. There you are. We've been looking for you. <laughs> What about this one? Uh, seems dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Let's go! I don't have the key. I swear!
but I'm going to leave it there, guys. So, thanks very much for watching. Do join me again when I'll be bringing you more of Dying Light 2. Stay human. Thanks very much, and goodbye.